Yo, what is up, YouTube? My name's Aaron, and today we are playing on the Giant. Now, this is the Darice remake, and I want to show you guys the three player or four player. I mean, four player is kind of pushing it, but definitely a two player style strategy for the lower high rounds or the mid mid rounds that that's a good word for it so this pretty much works from about 20 to 50 this is and you know you could honestly if you're playing this two player and depending on who your third is you could actually do this i would say into the 80s and at that point why not you know because the wall guns are so powerful you could actually kill hordes for a little bit as long as someone is running a i mean everyone needs to be running a wall gun and one person is running the one waffle so what you need for this is like i said you need two wall guns if you're going to be running where i'm at right here and i just picked up the one wall gun on the outside of the door out there made it a turned kind of gun and then i pick up the ak which is on the inside and it's where you see him go down right there and i've made it into blast furnace so i can kill full hordes this is what you need this is the setup that you need the person that's running next to the trap is going to be running wonder waffle and then a wall gun of his choice with blast furnace and about 30 you're gonna need to start turning on the trap if you're running where hey i'm tyler is down there and for the person that is in there really you could just run one gun and maybe like a ray gun or something honestly the ray gun's not too powerful in this game but definitely the wall gun that is in there that is definitely what that person needs to be running with blast furnace and you'll need monkeys like usual the annihilator you don't really need because it's not that good just remember if you're running this spot that turned will not kill dogs that is a bug i mean they could fix it they could not fix it but i actually went down several times because i wasn't paying attention to dogs now blast furnace is really good for killing hordes and a good gun to kill dogs is the ray gun that's the only reason why i would ever suggest you using a ray gun on this map because past 30 something it's not killing zombies especially in a timely manner especially when you can have a wall gun that'll kill a full horde up into the 90s like i was killing full hordes in the 90s and 80s i mean flawlessly so just make sure you have those these things i'm throwing down you definitely do not need i was just bored and had enough money to spend at the time but turn and blast furnace definitely is what you need hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay tell me if you want to see some more i think i'm going to be going for a high round some i said high round weird why would i say it like that i don't know i might be going for a high round on this map or shadows of evil with hey i'm tyler as you can see right there and i don't know let me know down in the comment section what you would rather see high realm gameplay from shadows of evil or this map right here the giant let me know down below also there is you know there's the um what do you call it dead ops arcade i could try to do a high round on that i'm not a dead ops player I'm, I'm not really good at it but uh let me know let me know for sure and i will definitely get that video made for you guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed this if you are new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button also like the video if you haven't already my name's aaron and i'll see you tomorrow with a brand new commentary